Okay. So here we go. This is backwards logic. Um, awesome clan mate from the Kraken clan. And he submitted a replay in the Tier 8 Hawk. And this is a uh, an Operation Narai battle. So Hawk's characteristics, she's part of the, uh, the British battle cruiser line. So generally speaking, big guns, um, torpedoes, uh, underwater torpedoes that have decent kind of funny little fire arcs. Um, it's got a good heal. It's got engine boost. Um, they are very good ships for playing aggressively. And so Narai is a great operation for aggressive play. Um, backwards, are there any negatives to uh, to the Hawk that you found? I mean, really, it can't take a hit too well. You got to be careful with it. It's easy to over angle when you're getting greedy and just get smacked with it. So okay. you kind of got to pick and choose your fights with it. But you the still... guns are amazing. I, I love the guns on this boat. Okay, cool. Yeah, you still have to keep uh, keep care of the, uh, the Missouri, especially in this game then. Okay. Yes, that that no. is a boat. <laughs> Not just that, according to my experience when I was playing randoms, right? It's like a lot of times if you get up tier, like a Georgia and Musashi can just straight up death track you at the start of the game. Even when you're bowing. Because of the Citadel protection from all sides and Hawk is kind of really vulnerable. Mm. From to, yeah, to it, it, it's squishy. It's squishy to HE, it's squishy to AP. It's uh, not a okay. boat that likes to get shot at too much, typically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. All right, well, let's take a look at uh, your build then. So um, you're gr are you grinding the Hawk through operations? Is that your plan? Uh, so I'm actually grinding the commander up in operations. I'm through the hawk already. I just love the boat so much. I'm like, I might as well just farm commander XP and ops because it's easy and kind of fun to do here. Fair. So okay, here we are. Here we are. Um, so this is this is gonna be more of a random battles build, but you're just gonna build the the captain up as you go, right? Yeah. Well, the plan is actually to do the um, furious um, ah. meme kind of build. You okay. know, have being on fire all the time and use that on Duncan and um, St. Vincent. Saint Vincent. Okay. So that's that's your end goal. Got it. So you've got that, main armaments. Got it. Main armaments mod one, damage control, aiming systems, damage control two, concealment, everything you'd want in a standard battleship, really. And you said you're training up a new captain, so it's just a standard, right? No, it's Cunningham. Oh. Yep. He's still not really high up. I think he's got 16 points here, but I've only spent 14 so far. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Cunningham is nice because if you get two kills, you get an extra of all your consumables. So extra engine yep. boost, extra heal, defensive failure, which doesn't matter in this uh, operation, but you get it anyway. So emergency repair, yep. grease the gears for turrets, adrenaline rush, and then it looks like you're going to go for Concealment and emergency repair. Since you're going to go for the furious meme thing, you're not doing fire prevention. Correct, yeah. So you're going to go to furious next. Yep. After that? Uh, the, whatever the skill is above furious. I forget that what that one's called. Super heavy AP. AP. Yeah, super heavy AP. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. Because you're on fire longer, although you take l slightly less damage. Wait, isn't it the other way around? Super Heavy AP at tier 3 and Furious at tier 4? Yeah, it's above it. Yeah. Oh, above. Uh, sorry, uh, I have a problem being yeah, low above. Yeah. This. In, in the uh, commander <laughs> tree, it's physically above it. You know, it's still it's the yeah, tier yeah. 3, the Furious is the tier 4. Yeah, right. yeah. Right, okay. Interesting. Makes sense. So this is like a full damage build. Now, we saw people do this in yeah. COTS. Didn't do too well with it, but we saw them try it. <laughs> So yeah, my thinking is with the super heal at the later tiers, if you can manage your HP and not overcommit, you can duck out, get your hit points back, and then punch back in again, and kind of mm -hmm. do the you know the, the dance in and dance out kind of play with it, as opposed to just you know face rushing somebody. One right. thing that's kind of scary and you have to realize about the hawk is with that build, you have to be very careful because you don't get the super heal yet. Correct. So you're not the, able to heal back all that fire damage that you would with a Duncan or a Vincent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the plan is not to keep this captain here. This is purely for grinding purposes. Oh, so you're Actually, moving this. I think I'll move him up, yeah. Hawk. Uh, oh, no. one, one question backwards. Sure. Uh, why, 
why not take a shell swap instead of the uh, uh, the current option in like the, the, the fourth slot? Uh, four gun feeder. In the first roll? Yeah, gun feeder instead of. Shelled. I pretty much always shoot AP. Like like okay, so like you got the thirty-ish second reload with the hawk. So with gun feeder, it swaps it down to like I don't know. I forget the exact numbers, but. Usually, like, if I got HE in the tubes, I'm like, ooh, I want AP. By the time I switch out, even with gun feeder, like, the opportunity's lost. Yeah, but so the I... cool thing about gun feeder is, like, let's say you shoot HE or AP, whatever. Like, you can swap it while reloading without resetting the cooldown. So let's say you have already reloaded for, like, 10 seconds. You can still swap it for free at this point. Sure. Yeah. See. And the 3% doesn't do crap. Oh, no, I agree. It, it's, it's, you know, minimal. I just, you know, I... My gun... But my play is I just I rarely spam HE. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm you know man battleship player shoot AP at everything. Well, and backwards you're you're part of the the OG crew like me the old dog new tricks thing right? How many how many yeah. years have we played where literally the best thing to do when you want to switch shell types is you clear your barrels and then switch to the Bingo. next shell anyway. Exactly. Yep. So it's just it's ingrained into us and. Uh, Wargaming, what is it, maybe two years ago made that change? Where, as, as you're reloading? Out. Yeah, I'm still yeah. trying to figure that one out. Like, yeah. I took that year and a half hiatus and came back to it. And I'm like, I don't know what the heck's going on here. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Also, my own personal hot take, uh, since you are having Cunningham, I would not really take the last heal skill and take the improved repair party readiness, especially when you reach Vincent, so you... Uh, at the end, you will have true extra heal without really needing the last skill because, like, most of the time, for instance, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, if you hit the two million potential damage, sure, you know, then mm -hmm. absolutely. And I do like this skill a lot just on Hawk. Like, the boat's too squishy, you're never hitting two million potential damage. Yeah, yeah that's why I said when it, yeah. it's saying Vincent. So, because, like, uh, it, if you're really good at fragging, I think you don't really need the last skill. And like maybe take uh improved repair party readiness along with like maybe like uh pre preventive maintenance because like I've seen a lot of people just breaking the turrets on St. Vincent. Yeah, I've heard the Vincent loses turrets. Yeah. More often than not. Okay. So you're it's saying also nice to protect top tubes, right? Like yeah. it's not that big of a deal. I guess, but when you're missing them, you really are missing them. Yeah, you know, I mean they're underwater, that. right on the Winston, yeah. so they're hard to knock out. I guess they still get knocked yeah. out, though. Even on yeah. the Hawk, they get knocked out. I yeah. think you'll see it in this replay. I think I'm, I can't remember is this game or another one, but I'll lose torpedo tubes at an inopportune time. Okay. The thing about the Hawk is the torpedo tubes aren't underwater; they're a little bit over yeah. the water line, but just sticking out the yeah. side. Got okay. it. Either way, they still get knocked out. Mm-hmm. So what you're what you're suggesting, Shin, is dropping concealment, if I heard that right, and then pick up improved not, and not 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 concealment, uh, the heal skill, the other heal one. Oh, this one, emergency repair expert. Really? Okay. Yeah, I've seen that that doesn't work as well because sometimes you'll just not reach the no nope. like amount of potential that you need, and you're just too yep. low to get the yep. heal. But the you know pro I mean? problem, okay, so because like. If you're constantly taking damage, usually at like the last two heals, you won't really heal up to like let's say forty thousand. Okay. You you will mostly hit like let's say eighteen thousand or twenty thousand at max. Mm -hmm. So like having the faster CD is way more beneficial than like let's say having like the first heal healing like over forty seven thousand. Uh because like. If you look at uh, some uh, website, like the St. Vincent Heal doesn't mm -hmm. have as high of a Citadel recovery or like a AP, not, not AP, the pen damage recovery that right. should, let's say, a Conqueror. So what, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the cooldown reduced so that the heal is available, the super heal is available sooner, right? And so yeah. as, as you're taking up more potential, if you get to that 2 million, hey, add a bonus, you get an extra consumable. And if you're using Cunningham, just simply get two kills and you get another... Another, another uh, heal, yeah. Yeah. Charge. yeah. So I, I can I can understand the synergy that, that's yeah. going, the big brain here. That makes sense. Yeah. I like ERE just for the extra 10% per charge that you get out of it. It's lasting longer, so you get more healed back. 
in right. that time frame when you're using those first early heals. So yeah. I mean, that's just why I use it. Not right. So I would agree there. if it was a standard heal. Like it, it sounds really good on the super heal too. Oh, you heal so much more with that. But at the same time, you need to deal, take so much healable damage that you actually make use out of this the extra 10%. So, so I can see it, and it frees up a captain skill point. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this could actually be a detriment if you're one of those people that looks and only uses the heal when you are at max heal potential, right? Correct. So, oh, yeah. I got 10% extra on a super heal. That's 10% longer of that super heal tick. You know, in, in hit points, whatever the math is, I don't know. But basically, that's delaying when you use your heal, right? When um, this, you use your heal more frequently because you get to that maximum heal quicker. And in, if you think about it in a sense, then, then you cycle through your next heal quickly enough to when you need it. Because usually it's not the first heal that, that you desperately want. It's your third, second it's or third. game. Yeah. So yeah. it's the late game heals you need. Yeah, so I, I I like that. That's 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 a neat idea, something to play with. Uh, I, I certainly wouldn't mind trying it out myself. All right, um, flags, dude, you're a Narai. You don't need this at all. Hey, I'm a try hard. <laughs> you can't de you can't detonate in operations. Yeah. Well, there you go. Great, I'll get rid of it then. I yeah. got like a billion of them, so it's whatever. Yeah, I didn't but, know that. So this is something that a lot of people don't, which is why I'm bringing that up. You don't need debt flag because you cannot debt, period. Nobody has ever detonated in an operation. Haven't so. accepted. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, replace that for a ramming flag so you can ram the Colorado or something at the end. I don't know. But anyway, um, so you've got uh, fire extinguishing, flood reduction, heal boosting, uh, speed, consumables anti-air um okay a and sierra bravo i have no idea i just click whatever it's matt recommended and that's what pops up i don't even look okay. i have so, so many flags it doesn't even matter okay. i have the opposite problem as the other guy Probably so, just so the FAA. Th this this is because you've got defensive anti-air on on this sh ship and, and frankly that's probably it you don't need it no, because there's only that that Lexington that that shows up and and doesn't even use so planes. Even planes. So well, there's other ops that do have planes where it comes in handy. So you don't know which op you're gonna get when you go into ops. Okay, okay, fair, fair. That that's fine. I mean, if if you're if you're sitting on tons of flags and you wanna uh, use them, that that's fine too. I get it. Um, so we'll leave these two back on. So yeah, it's actually sneaky good. <laughs> like it, it actually shoots planes down. I'm kind of surprised with it. Yeah. Um, I might go for the secondaries instead of this, you know, since you're saving the, the, the dead flag, just, I don't know, whatever. But, yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's get to your replay. Here we go. So, Operation Nara, you are by yourself, so you're not diving with anybody, and you have played this enough times, of course, to know where you're going. That kind of, yep. Do you like to go for transports or so i do this a little bit differently um i don't go for transports battleships and transports are not a thing um well it can work if you're a secondary spec but Commerce i will rating. actually break off and go for the carrier a lot of times because i don't trust my guys to get through the farragut in the omaha to take out the carrier and it right. sets up my end game play which you'll see later okay just realized I was a little zooming. Um, why didn't you use your speed boost at the start just to get a little bit farther out? Nah, I like to stay with the uh, the circle. So if I get a cheeky shot from the bots because they spot me first, um, I can just heal it right back and not worry about having to heal it later. Ah, okay. A heal enjoyer. Basically. The, the big thing is that uh, the Iron Duke. So... Iron, you mean the Elizabeth or? Oh, is it the Queen Elizabeth now? I, I always yeah, remember, I always think of it as the Iron Duke. But... Yeah, okay. it's a Kiwi now. Yeah, because this used to be a Wyoming. But I think because of the because of the tiering, because it's all eights or mostly right. eights, it, it adds a tier on the bots. Because yeah, that usually is a Clemson. God, it's so sad I remember all this. <laughs> I mean, this was the op to farm back when you could pick ops to farm this was get your money oh yeah load up the atlanta and just go to town 
That's right. You had the blue sky camo. You had the uh, all the other stuff. You don't oh, even bother about the lander. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I forget what I do here. I think I go after the QE. Looks like you're going after the Torps. Nope, you go nope. for the Lander. Totally calculated. All skill, no luck. Mm hmm. Also, four overpens because yeah, it's a Lander. It's Lander. Yep, there they are, four overpens. Yeah, Profile, what we're saying is back when the op was original and it was only tier 7, it was a, it was a Wyoming at the start. And uh, a lot of these ships, like the Farragut tier 6, was actually a Nicholas at tier 5. And so Wargaming just added a tier to pretty much all the bots. For yeah, the, they missed the, the Emerald tier. when it used to pop out. Oh, Everybody yeah. would try to shoot the Emerald for the instant XP boost. Mine, mine, mine. Exactly. I'm surprised you're holding your main battery here. You must just. I'm expecting him to turn, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm looking to go flush here. The the but, lead you know. transport got the Farragut. <laughs> hey, you know what? Kudos to them. I'd love to see that statistic. How many ships has the lead transport killed? <laughs> how, how many how many tons of of ships has has it sunk? Like that would be kind of fun to to, to look at. You gotta figure Wargame has got that stat somewhere. I'm sure they can pull it up. Now, Dallas, do you, um, are you gonna try torping him, or are you, you just gonna guns no. him? No. I, I guns him. Okay. I like this island here. This is a great, um, mm -hmm. a line of sight block for the Missouri. You can kind of yep. tuck up on it, and when he turns the corner, you have flush broadside shots on it. Mm-hmm. Now, the reason I was saying that is I, I had a I could see you also going for the Legal and then trying to torp the, uh, you know, the Dallas for why not both moments. Yeah. Yeah, see right here, Missouri really can't hit you. Mm -hmm. And you got good shots on the Gal and you got good shots on Leander if you have to take it. Yep. Red downward pointing arrow. That's a mod that I use, so it, it basically accentuates when you take damage. Because that arrow helps me pinpoint where my shell, where, where the shells are coming from. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I have no mods in this. This is pure stock. All right, so you're working through your first heal. Yep. And now, baby Leander, you will die. I just want to point out we have a hipper going for the transports here, not typically what you see. Mm hmm. But it's German, so we'll allow it. The problem with going for the transports is usually, unless you're in a full div, uh, you always have somebody that just takes out one of them. Yep. And rip your achievement. So here's that flat broadside on the Missouri we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Forty K chunking. Nice. Might get one shot off. I don't think so, though. Yeah, I think he dips the quiet. I think you can only get the one shot off. You, you, mm -hmm. yeah, you gotta. I was yep. too slow accelerating to get out. Right, and you were you checking your torpedo there. angle too. Look like. Yeah. And here I'm getting kind of worried. It's like hmm, Missouri's only at half. I'm the only one that's done damage to it. Like this guy's about to run over the transports. Like this is kind of a problem. Yeah. He's getting a little danger close here. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't use your torpedo earlier, because it might have come into play. Yeah, it might have caught, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of scary to see. This is this is not what you want. This is like, <laughs> team, where are you? Where, where, what are you guys doing? I've done literally 80k to 100k ship. Like, where, where are you guys? 
And like, okay, good. Oh, good point. Anchorage does have torps, yes. Now you're going to turn out because, like you said, you don't trust this flint in this case to deal with the carrier. I do not trust the flint. And the flint is too far up. Like, yes, he's got great DPM, but as soon as that Farragut rounds the corner, like, he is danger close on torps. Mm hmm. Yep, and I think it's probably an Omaha escorting. Historically, it's a Phoenix, and I've got a great screenshot of Seabear dying to a Phoenix. Yep, it's still the <laughs> Omaha. In this, in this mode, it's always fun. You died to a tier four. How do you feel? All enemy transport ships were destroyed. Speed boost, because I'm like, I got to catch up here. Like, this is not good. Mm-hmm. Two ships going for the red cargo. Yeah, well, that, that's what always happens. You, you almost always have one person that, that claims transports and then another that just goes for them anyway. So. And that's why we almost had the Missouri run over our convoy ships, literally, because two guys branched off instead of one. Yep, yep. So here I'm looking to see if the Cleveland pops out. Sometimes they'll overshoot the corner here and you can get a nice side shot coming around the corner here yep yeah uh, if you've got somebody teammate wise with radar there it is i was gonna say that would be a good time to ask somebody to use it fortunately the cleveland is not moving oh hello farragut now here comes the real There's big brain do you let the farragut kill the flint first i'm still playing to win so there's no yeah I'll let the bot kill our guy first here there's it's no I, I you don't get a lot of xp if you lose these things so that is true now flint of course has managed to lose a ton of itself mm -hmm. to just a boat look it's a lexington Rogue lurk for coffee and cheesecake. Oh, now I'm really hungry. Deactivated. I might have dropped my torpedoes uh, farther to the right, figuring the Lexington's going to dodge these torps when they see them. Uh, the uh, yeah. Flint's ones. I just have a blueberry cheesecake right now. <laughs> oh, jealous. <laughs> Especially the blueberry cheesecake Kit Kats. Those things are yummy too. Oh, we don't have that in Hong Kong. Oh, okay. Yeah. Clear the base zone of enemy ships. Yeah, I think I deliberately aimed the torps at the Omaha on that one. Got it. Yeah, I misjudged the turn a little bit by. Keep going. Chance I ran the Lexi. I don't want to do that, so I'll just uh, mm -hmm. get poked here. You could use thing. you could use your defensive anti-air fire just to clear out the squadron a little bit sooner, but doesn't matter either way. No. I mean, the FA is more about flak and he's in one kilometer. So <laughs> <laughs> it's more just to try to like. Try to get the the squadron, the, the the new cap, to regenerate sooner, so you could farm a little bit more. <laughs> True. But also, but also notice that Flint has in fact died. Had I not come down here, we would have not have gotten the carrier. That's right. Important lesson for all you would be Nari enjoyers. When the Missouri gets that close to the transport, you think, have any of them played this out before? All right. Yeah. Here's where it gets interesting, because if you look at where our ships are, there a couple of guys are pushing up to deal with them, but most of them are kind of in the back. And well, you've got... Get shot at here. Yeah, you've got the Yumihari, who's definitely a heel enjoyer. I mean, he sat there right next to the, the yeah. uh, Missouri the whole time. And so you that's... saw how much damage he did to him as he was coming up. Mm-hmm. And this is where this particular flank in a battleship shines because you can just push around the corner and you have flush broadsides on everything sure so you're gonna go for the baby omaha of course why wouldn't i go for the baby omaha <laughs> a little behind i think i over i think i overpen him or miss yeah something here yeah the omahas are deceptively fast i've 
mm -hmm. years of playing this game, and I still can't lead them properly. <laughs> they are. The there goes our hipper. We're like, great, side. awesome. We're down two ships now. It's not what you want. I mean, you know, if you're playing for XP, you want this, but yeah. If you're playing for the win. Well, I still want to I want to win and get five stars, because without stars, mm -hmm. you know, it, mm -hmm. that's not what you want. Oh, Johnny Torp the Zeton. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. How is this even possible? <laughs> <laughs> See, here's where the secondary flag comes in handy. Slightly. Yeah. Now my three fires here. This is cool. Yeah, you might want to yeah. start your heal now. No, nope, not full yet. We're good though. It's fine. <laughs> One shot at the Indianapolis. An enemy cruiser. Nice. Problem solved. Sir. Well, I'm just anticipating you're going to be set on fire again as soon as you're problem solved, sir. I hate when that happens. Oh, it always does that without fail. Mm-hmm. What's nice about this corner, too, is the bots don't have their torpedoes loaded yet, so you can get as close to them as they want, and they can't torp you. Mm. And nobody's killing that Jervis. No. Nope. <laughs> you think somebody might. Hey, no, even Hari no. Secondaries did it. Yeah. Uh, Anchorage? Yeah. Whiff. Swing and a miss. Yeah, it's not what you want. That's right, I've hit most of my other shots, so and, uh, now, it's fine. Why did you switch to the Chapaya there instead of the continuing on the anchorage? On Get rid of the ship. The, the thought is I can nuke the Chappie. I can't not a guarantee on the anchorage. If I can get rid of the DPM from the bots, we have a better chance of winning it. It's just about it. removing guns off the field. Got it. All right, well, now you can continue your turn. Try to nail this Queen Elizabeth. Heal time. You could even fire your right torpedo at the anchorage. And then, then you would do your left on the Kahlo, but you're going to swing on this way. And here I'm just trying to maintain some semblance of angle to the Colorado because I don't know when he shot. And mm -hmm. Colorado can really hurt at this range. Yeah. Klingon gunners are jealous. Lucky shot, sir. Very fitting Here's song, by there. the way, for this replay. Yeah, let's go for the butt shot. And you might as well engine boost so you can get on the... Get to the side a little bit quicker. There you go. Battle ends in five minutes. I would keep my guns going just so I can try to shoot him with the guns there. Oh my god, he's slowing down. His engines are out. Yep. Those might actually not hit. Nope. They're Red October. Yeah. So, you know, imagine if you had used your guns earlier when you were lining up, you'd, you'd be ready to do another one. Getting greedy. <laughs> you wanted to use the funny torp. Uh, I wanted to use the torps. Yeah, sorry, no I... death pick. No, but I can still I can still make one happen. <laughs> you know. That's still fun. Break that so, camera yeah, this, was, this was a damage record for me in ops. I, I, I don't think I'd ever cleared four before and to clear it, almost get to 500. Uh, it was like, yeah, I'm going send that into the Zat. That might be fun to watch. It takes a team, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Spank that aft. All right, anyway. And that's the end. All right, so 25,000 regular XP, 488,000 damage, dude. That's, I think that's the most I've ever seen in a battleship. Ah, uh, Narai. Wow, your Baltimore who lived to the end, he really helped.
<laughs> Actually, this is kind of funny, right? Lived, died, lived, died, lived, yeah. died. <laughs> Good pattern. <laughs> and the title, It Takes a Team. Yes. <laughs> I think that's the title for this one. Yeah, definitely. There you go. So. And figure the hipper only got the XP he got from taking out all the transports. That's right. That's right. Which is still, I mean, it's still a very valuable uh, thing to oh, do. Oh, hugely so. valuable. I mean, that's the five, that's one of the stars. You got to get that. Yep. I had a match when I was doing Narai where we, I think, missed like three transports. Like one boat <sighs> went down there and then promptly did a U-turn when the enemy Farragut showed up and chased him off. And he was in a Benson and we ended up losing the whole op. It was terrible. <laughs> so it can happen. Mm -hmm. you, you can totally lose this op. Oh, yeah, I've done that, too. I've, I've lost it before. It's, it basically requires everybody, including yourself, to really turn your brains off. 263k into Brandenburg, nice. We're just we're just enjoying all the ships that you damaged here. <laughs> I think I shot just about all of them between the secondaries and the torps and the main battery. I hit just about everybody. Mm -hmm. And here's that sweet, sweet... Oh my god, you're using blues, right? Oh yeah, blues. These are all blues. Wow. Okay. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Now, you said you've already ground through, so I'm going to say what everybody always says to me, which is you don't need to use the regular XP boosters anymore. But you probably have so many, right? I have like 700 of each blue. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And right. I, I'm grinding for a very specific purpose. It's like, I want XP on this captain. Right. So I'm like, yeah, plus I love playing the ship. It, it's, it's just a lot of fun, and I can generate a lot of big numbers with it, so... Right. But what I'm saying, the, the old historic, again, this is back the, the old dog, new tricks thing. The old way they did the, the uh, stuff, the base XP here impacted your commander XP and your free XP. Yep. Absolutely. But it doesn't do that anymore. It doesn't? Oh, see, look, this is what happens when I take two years off. That's why I'm saying well, this one in particular, this. you could probably get uh, away with not running. I could probably, okay. Huh. Unless so you're yeah, trying to grind stuff. the ship, like grind, you know, to the next one. I'll, I'll have to try that out and yeah. see what the numbers look like. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, good to know. Speaking of which, um, do you mind if I go back to the commander skill thing? Because, like, sure. Uh, if I remember correctly, like three patches ago, St. Vincent got nerfed along with the Duncan, where the heal cooldown gone from 80 seconds to 100 seconds. Okay. So that makes improved so repair we, party readiness even more important, is what you're getting more at. important. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, I, I I'd love to see if you if you do go down that route backwards and have another game like this. Send it in. We can take a look at how it worked. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to report it back. Let Challenge you know it accepted. <laughs> nice game. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for sending that one in. Um, yeah. I'll move to my stream writer screen then.